of Christ. In which we partake of Christ, his sufferings are remembered, our minds are filled with his grace, and we receive the pledge of the glory which is to be ours. He gave them bread from heaven to be their food. And this bread contained all goodness. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, who gave us the Eucharist as the memorial of your suffering and death, may our worship of this sacrament of your body and blood help us to experience the salvation you won for us and the peace of the kingdom we live with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, and she conceived to the power of the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. And dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Pour forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection. To the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us meditate the luminous mysteries. The first luminous mystery, the baptism of the Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second luminous mystery, the wedding at Cana. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third luminous mystery, the proclamation of the kingdom of God. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth luminous mystery, the Transfiguration. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now in the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth luminous mystery, the institution of the Holy Eucharist, our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women. And blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. We fly to your patronage. O Holy Mother of God, despise at our petitions in our necessities, but deliver us from all dangers, O ever glorious and blessed Virgin. Queen of the Holy Rosary, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life, grant, we beseech you, that meditating upon these mysteries of the Holy Rosary, of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Behold the faithful and prudent steward, whom the Lord has set over his household, the Lord has shown him his love and covered him with glory. He has clothed him in splendid garments. Let us pray. Father, you entrusted our Savior to the care of St. Joseph by the help of his prayers. May your church continue to serve her Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you, and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today is the memorial of St. Charles Swanga and Companion Martyrs. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Come, let us sing to the Lord and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach him with praise and thanksgiving and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth and the highest mountains as well. He made the sea; it belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. 
Come then, let us bow down in worship, bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock He shepherds. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Forty years I endure that generation. I said, they are a people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, the King of Martyrs. Christ in whose passion once was sown, O virtue of all saints to be, for the white field of these thy own, we praise the seed and so worthy. Thine was the first and holiest reign To thy and quicken and increase And then came these and die again That spring and harvest should not cease from thee the martyrs we from those Each in thy grace as measures spring Their strength upon our weakness flows And guides us to the goal we sing Awake, lyre and harp let us praise, with praise let us awake the dawn. Have mercy on me, God, have mercy, for in you my soul has taken refuge. In the shadow of your wings I take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I call to God the Most High, to God who has always been my help. May he send from heaven and save me, and shame those who assail me. May God send his truth and his love. My soul lies down among lions, who would devour the sons of men. Their teeth are spears and arrows, their tongue a sharpened sword. O God, arise above the heavens, may your glory shine on earth. They laid a snare for my steps, my soul was bowed down. They dug a pit in my path, but fell in it themselves. My heart is ready, O God, my heart is ready. I will sing, I will sing your praise. Awake, my soul. Awake, lyre and harp. I will awake the dawn. I will thank you, Lord, among the peoples. Among the nations, I will praise you. For your love reaches the heavens and your truth to the skies. O God, arise above the heavens. May your glory shine on earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. My people, says the Lord, will be filled with my blessings. Hear the word of the Lord, O nations. Proclaim it on distant coasts and say, He who scattered Israel now gathers them together. He guards them as a shepherd his flock. The Lord shall ransom Jacob. He shall redeem him from the hand of his conqueror. Shouting, they shall mount the heights of Zion. They shall come streaming to the Lord's blessing. The grain, the wine, and the oil, the sheep and the oxen, they themselves shall be like watered gardens. Never again shall they languish. Then the virgins shall make merry and dance, and young men and old as well. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will console and gladden them after their sorrows. 
I will lavish choice portions upon the priests, and my people shall be filled with my blessings, says the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. The Lord is great and worthy to be praised in the city of our God. His holy mountain rises in beauty, the joy of all the earth. Mount Zion, true pole of the earth, the great king's city, God in the midst of its citadels has shown himself his stronghold. For the kings assembled together, together they advanced. They saw at once they were astounded, dismayed they fled in fear. A trembling seized them there, like the pangs of birth. By the east wind you have destroyed the ships of Tarshish. As we have heard, so we have seen, in the city of our God, in the city of the Lord of hosts, which God upholds forever. O God, we ponder your love within your temple. Your praise, O God, like your name, reaches to the ends of the earth. With justice your right hand is filled, Mount Zion rejoices. The people of Judah rejoice at the sight of your judgments. Walk through Zion, walk all around it. Count the number of its towers. Review all its ramparts. Examine its castles. That you may tell the next generation that such is our God. Our God forever and always. It is He who leads us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Praise be God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of mercies, and the God of all consolation. He comforts us in all our afflictions and thus enables us to comfort those who are in trouble with the same consolation we have received from Him. As we have shared much in the suffering of Christ, so through Christ do we share abundantly in His consolation. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. God Himself is their reward. They live with Him forever. Glory to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit. The just are the friends of God. They live with Him forever. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to His people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of His servant David. Through His holy prophets, He promised of old that He would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember His holy covenant. This was the oath He swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship Him without fear, holy and righteous in His sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare His way, to give His people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine in those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Blessed are those who suffer persecution for the sake of justice. The kingdom of heaven is theirs. Our Savior's faithfulness is mirrored in the fidelity of His witnesses, who shed their blood for the word of God. Let us praise Him in remembrance of them. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs freely embraced death in bearing witness to the faith 
Give us the true freedom of the Spirit, O Lord, we pray. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs profess their faith by shedding their blood. Give us a faith, O Lord, that is constant and pure, we pray. You redeemed us by your blood. Your martyrs followed in your footsteps by carrying the cross. Help us to endure courageously the misfortunes of life, we pray. You redeemed us by your blood. For our Pope, college of bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, especially the vocations and needs of the province, and all those whom we promise to pray for, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety and well-being of our health care providers and frontliners, the recovery of the sick, and the eternal repose of the souls of those who have died, we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For our diseased brethren, relatives, friends, and especially Edmundo Espinas, whose anniversary occurs today, may they enjoy eternal life. We pray, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Your martyrs wash their garments in the blood of the Lamb. Help us to avoid the weakness of the flesh and worldly allurements. We pray. You redeemed us by your blood. Let us pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Father, you have made the blood of the martyrs the seed of Christians. May the witness of saints, of St. Charles and his companions, and their loyalty to Christ in the face of torture, inspire countless men and women to live the Christian faith. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray for the following Mass intentions. The healing and recovery of Carissa Guerzon, Ernesto Manalo, Kyle Cristel Andal, Ashley Janelle Andal, and all those who are sick and afflicted with COVID-19. The special and other intentions of UST Angelicum College, Oscar Mirasol and Morel Dizon. The thanksgiving of Thea Blazon, Mr. and Mrs. Manuel Enriquez and family, Clarissa Gonda, Paulo and Regine Campos, Maria Corazon Maaba, Simeonito, Reni, Nathaniel Locayon, Mima Bet Printing Incorporated, Santo Domingo Diagnostic and Medical Center Corporation, Manuel and Juanita Valovis and family. The eternal repose of the souls of all EFC and Rodis, Father Edmundo Espinas OP, Arthur Platon, Lim Shu Ben, Manuel Doral, Concepcion Francisco Gregorio, Violeta Kleiber, Leo Vigildo Reyes, Teresita Reyes, Patricia and Cristino Manalili, Fortunato Perez, Francisco Datol Jr., Lorentino Tenco, Gabriel Bilog, Ambrosio De Vera, Mario Zacarias, Ramilo Laico, Zenaida Lara, Isabelo Castillo, Marcelina Castillo, Benigno Castillo, Pablo Lara, Antonia Boraga Sumanghid, Ludovico Ramirez Cruz, Ofelia Carage, Maximina Cruz, Gloria Atilon, Maria Luisa Dizon, Cleotilde Buchong, Astilia Adlawan, Anacorita Rodriguez Casalia, Eldefonso and Susi Gomez, Betty Santiago, Alfredo Escanio, Francis Evaristo, Amelia, 
Rogelio, Billy Valois, Hilbert Fermin, Carmelita and Maya Perez, Hilbert Maria Gapi, Carmelita and Fermin Perez, Santiago and Alfredo Escaño, Presentacion Hinion, Cleto Jr., Heraclio Jr., Cleto Sr., Heraclio Sr., Rosemary, and all souls of the faithful departed, and all souls in purgatory. Come to the feast of heaven and earth, come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. Oh, come and sit at my table, we're saints and sinners are friends. I wait to welcome the lost and lonely to share the cup of my love. Come to the feast of heaven and earth. Come to the table of plenty. God will provide for all that we need here at the table of plenty. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who have made the blood of martyrs the seed of Christians, Mercifully grant that the field, which is your church, watered by the blood, shed by St. Charles Luanga and his companions, may be fertile and always yield you an abundant harvest. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Tobit. When the angel Raphael and Tobiah had entered Media and were getting close to Ekbatan, Raphael said to the boy, Tobiah, my brother, he replied, here I am. He said, tonight we must stay with Ragel, who is a relative of yours. He has a daughter named Sarah. So he brought him to the house of Ragel, whom they found seated by his courtyard gate. They greeted him first. He said to him, to them, Greetings to you too, brothers. Good health to you and welcome. And he brought them into his home. Ragel slaughtered a ram from the flock and gave them a cordial reception. When they had bathed and reclined to eat, Tobiah said to Raphael, Brother Azariah, ask Ragel 
to let me marry my kinswoman, Sarah. Ragel overheard the words, so he said to the boy, Eat and drink and be merry tonight, for no man is more entitled to marry my daughter, Sarah, than you, brother. Besides, not even I have the right to give her to anyone but you, because you are my closest relative. But I will explain the situation to you very frankly. I have given her in marriage to seven men, all of whom were kinsmen of ours, and all died on the very night they approached her. But now, son, eat and drink. I am sure the Lord will look after you. Tobias said, I will eat or drink nothing until you set aside what belongs to me. Ragel said to him, I will do it. She is yours according to the decree of the book of Moses. Your marriage to her has been decided in heaven. Take your kinswoman. From now on, you are her love and she is your beloved. She is yours today and ever after. And tonight, son, may the Lord of heaven prosper you both. May he grant you mercy and peace. Then Ragel called his daughter Sarah, and she came to him. He took her by the hand and gave her to Tobiah with the words, Take her according to the law, according to the decree written in the book of Moses. She is your wife. Take her and bring her back safely to your father. And may the God of heaven grant both of you peace and prosperity. Ragel then called Sarah's mother and told her to bring a scroll so that he might draw up a marriage contract stating that he gave Sarah to Tobiah as his wife according to the decree of the Mosaic law. Her mother brought the scroll and Ragel drew up the contract to which they affixed their seals. After they had began to eat and drink, later Ragel called his wife Edna and said, My love, prepare the other bedroom and bring the girl there. She went and made the bed in the room as she was told and brought the girl there. After he had cried, she had cried over her, she wiped away the tears and said, Be brave, my daughter. May the Lord grant you joy in place of your grief. Courage, my daughter. Then she left. When the girl's parents left the room and closed the door behind them, Tobiah arose from bed and said to his wife, My love, get up. Let us pray and beg our Lord to have mercy on us and grant us salvation. She got up and they started to pray and beg that deliverance might be theirs. And they began to say, Blessed are you, O God of our fathers. Praise be your name forever and ever. Let the heavens and all your creation praise you forever. You made Adam and you gave him his wife Eve to be his help and support. And from these two, the human race descended. You said, it is not good for the man to be alone. Let us make him a partner like himself. Now, Lord, you know that I take this wife of mine not because of lust, but for noble purpose. Call down your mercy on me and on her and allow us to live together to a happy old age. They said together, Amen, Amen. And they went to bed for the night. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork, Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your home, 
Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Our Savior, Jesus Christ, has destroyed death and brought life to light through the Gospel. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. One of the scribes came to Jesus and asked him, which is the first of all the commandments? Jesus replied, The first is this. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is Lord alone. You shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind, and with all your strength. The second is this. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. There is no other commandment greater than this. The scribe said to him, Well said, teacher. You are right in saying, He is one, and there is no other than he. And to love him with all your heart, with all your understanding, with all your strength, and to love your neighbor as yourself is worth more than all burnt offerings and sacrifices. And when Jesus saw that he answered with understanding, he said to him, You are not far from the kingdom of God. And no one dared to ask him any more questions. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Ayong araw na ito ay ating napakinggan ng pangatlong ebanghelyo kung saan si Jesus ay tinanong kung babalikan natin yung nakarang dalawang araw nung Martes tinanong si Jesus tungkol sa pagbabayad ng buwis kung tama ba na magbayad ng buwis kay Cesar tama ba ito o mali kahapon meron ilit itinanong kay Jesus tungkol naman sa kabilang buhay at sinubukan siya kung totoo ba ito sa pamamagitan ng pagbibigay ng halimbawa sa isang babaeng nagkaroon ng pitong asawa dito sa lupa. Ano mangyayari sa kanya sa kabilang buhay? At ngayon naman, tinatanong muli si Jesus, ano ba ang pinakamahalagang utos? Pero, kakaiba ang kwento ngayong araw na ito sapagkat dun sa nakarang dalawang araw pagkatapos tanungin si Jesus at sinagot ni Jesus ang katanungan ng mga taong ito hindi pinuri ni Jesus yung mga nagtanong sa kanya bagamat ipinakita pa nga sa atin na sila ay mga hindi mabubuting halimbawa Tinawag pa nga niya nila, ni Jesus sila na ipokrito o ipokrita. Pero ngayon, sa pagsagot ni Jesus at dun sa tugon nung nagtanong sa kanya, 
pinuri pa ni Jesus. At dagdag pa dito, sinabi sa kanya, hindi nalalayo sa iyo ang kaharian ng Diyos. Wari bang sinasabi, malapit ka nang maligtas. Malapit na sa iyo ang aking kaligtasan. Ano ang pinagkaiba? Doon sa nagtanong ngayon, tungkol sa pinakamahalagang utos, siya ay nagtanong dahil siya ay sinsero. Tapat sa kanyang pagtatanong. Kaya nga, sa proseso nung kanyang paglapit kay Jesus, sa kalaunan, siya ay natuto. At nalaman pa niya lalo ang katotohanan tungkol sa nais sabihin ni Jesus tungkol sa kanyang mensahe. Sinsero, tapat. Nandun yung kanyang pagnanais na malaman talaga kuno ang nais ng Diyos. Nandun talaga yung kanyang pagnanais na malaman kung ano ang itinuturo ni Jesus. Pero ngayon, kung titignan natin ang ating sarili, sasabihin natin, oh, madali namang maging sincere. Hindi ba kapag ka nagdadasal ako, tapat naman ako, sinasabi ko naman sa Diyos talaga. Kung anong gusto ko, kapag meron akong tanong, ay alam ko naman ang aking gustong malaman. Pero siguro sa unang banda, akala natin, sinsero tayo. Pero kung susiri natin mabuti ang ating mga sarili, alam niyo mahirap maging tapat sa Diyos at maging tapat dun sa ating mga sinasabi sa Kanya. Balikan natin yung ating Ibanghelyo. Halimbawa, kung sasabihin natin kay Jesus ngayon, Panginoon, gawin mo akong mapagmahal no? at gawin mo akong mahalin ng Diyos ng buong pag-iisip, buong puso, buong kaluluwa, buong lakas. At gawin mong mahalin ko ang aking kapwa gay ng pagmamahal ko sa aking sarili. Kung yan yung sasabihin natin ngayon kay Jesus, ano kayang sasabihin niya sa atin? Baka hindi mo alam ang sinasabi mo. Baka hindi mo alam ang hinihingi mo sa akin. Alam mo ba ang ibig sabihin ng mahalin ng Diyos? And do you know what it really takes to love God and to love your neighbor? Kaya madalas, siguro naisip natin, madaling maging sincere, pero kung susiriin natin, hindi talaga. Kagaya ng pagmamahal. Madaling sabihin, pero kung nung ibig sabihin talaga nito, napakahirap gawin, napakahirap isa buhay. Kaya kung sasabihin natin kay Jesus, Panginoon, gawin mo akong mapagmahal, hindi ganong kadali, hindi ganong kabilis. Kaya nga siguro, kapag tayo ay may kahilingan o nananalangin, hindi ka agad-agad binibigay sa atin ng Diyos. Hinahayaan ng Diyos na lumipas ang oras, lumipas ang ilang panahon. Bakit? Para na sa ganon, ay lalong lumago yung ating katapatan o lalong maging sincere tayo sa ating mga hinihiling sa Kanya. Hinahayaan niya muna na ulit-ulitin natin yung sinasabi natin sa Kanya, yung ating hinihiling sa Kanya. Nang sa ganon, maintindihan nating mabuti kung ibig sabihin ito. Nang sa ganon, maging sinsero talaga tayo sa ating mga panalangin. Pinaghihintay tayo ng Diyos. 
hindi niya kagad-agad tinutugon ang ating mga kahilingan. Pinaghihintay tayo. Let us now offer our petitions. Let our prayers today show that we love the Lord our God with all our heart and with all our soul, mind, and strength. Let our prayers show that we love our neighbors as we respect and reverence ourselves. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may never cease to proclaim love of God and neighbor as the heart of the Gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may never forget to show compassion to those who are underprivileged, unwanted, and unloved. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may treat every person with kindness and respect. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by the gentle touch of the of the Spirit, we may have a deeper compassion for the sick and the elderly. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may bring to His eternal kingdom our departed loved ones, especially Father Edmundo Espinas Opi, whose death anniversary occurs today. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer for our personal intentions and the intentions of this Mass. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, make us worthy of your call. Give us the grace to live out this commandment of love in word and deed. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my dearly beloved, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. We offer you sacrifice, O Lord, humbly praying that as you granted the blessed martyrs grace to die rather than sin, so you may bring us to minister at your altar in dedication to you alone, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith. To their endurance, you grant firm resolve. And in their struggle, the victory is yours through Christ our Lord. 
Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the hosts of angels, cry out, and without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Onesto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us now pray for the coming of the kingdom as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. 
for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. I will come to you in the silence. I will lift you from all your fear. In the shadow, hear my voice. I claim you as my choice. Be still and know I am here. I am hope for all who are hopeless. I am eyes for all who long to see. In the shadows of the night, I will be your light. Come and rest in me. Do not be afraid, I am with you. I have called you each my name. Come and follow me. I will bring you home. I love you and you. Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. 
We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that we may make ministers to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady of the Holy Rosary, La Naval de Manila. Pray for us. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael, the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Santo Domingo de Guzman. Pray for us. All Dominican holy men and women of God. Pray for us. Let us pray. We have received this divine sacrament, O Lord, as we celebrate the victory of your holy martyrs. May what help them to endure torment, we pray, make us in the face of trials steadfast in faith and in charity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Adios, Reina del Cielo, Madre del Salvador, Dulce prenda adorada del mi sincero amor, de tu divino rostro. La belleza al dejar, permíteme que vuelva tus plantas a besar. Adiós, reina del cielo, madre del Salvador, dulce prenda adorada. De mi sincero amor.